Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick run through. We're about to get started on a new project. We have a 1947 Baldwin 60,000 pound capacity, which is 300 kilonewtons, BTE. This is before Frank Bacon got our hands on it. So this machine is sold, about to be reconditioned for a customer. So I wanted to give you a little before and after. This thing's gonna completely come all the way apart. All freshly ground tables, gone through, clean service, certified. Let's get our standard Frank Bacon one year parts labor warranty. So take a look. You'll be amazed at what it comes out like afterwards. Here's the hydraulic pumping system for the 1947 Satec Baldwin BTE. You can see this thing was all manual. So you got your manual loading lever and your manually unloading lever. This customer wanted to save some money so he's, we're keeping it manually controlled, but we're gonna be getting rid of this digital indicator, this uh, dial type indicator, and they're going with a three channel digital indicating system. So this will be all modernized. Uh, back in 1947, they put you know, 240 or 460 voltage directly to the push buttons. That won't meet code anymore. So this is gonna be completely rewired from the ground up. Everything's gonna meet current electrical standards, and it's gonna be fully certified to ASTM E8, and they'll get a three channel digital indicating. So they'll get load, they'll get displacement and speed, as well as a strain channel. So if they want to add extensometers or deflectometers, they can get automatic calculation of yield. So with our retrofit and reconditioning package, we take the best of the old system and make it up to today's standards. So uh, you'll see this thing's old and dirty, but it's going to be like new when we're done with it. step in this process here is taking the cross heads off. So we're going to use a motorized cross head to run the top cross head off the columns and just run this one straight off of the screws and catch it with a fork. it's all painted separately and then we reassemble with the load nuts coming in you have to be perfectly aligned so right now we're setting the alignment before we jack up the cross head to match our nuts everything has to be very very level ensuring as we bring up the cross head these load nuts will be in the exact same place
Hi there, my name is Jeff. Uh, this is another episode of the Frank Bacon Difference. Today we have a 60,000 pound Satec Baldwin uh, BTE. So it's a pressure transducer based machine. You've got your test compression envelope here and your tension envelope between the two cross heads. Right now I have a specimen in the cross head grips. Um, we'll get this ready and then show you a pop. This is our indicator. This is going to show us live load, position, and speed. And then our software, which can pull batch results and analysis from the indicator to your computer. Um, you can check calibrations, you can check test setups and analysis setups, all that good stuff. Change your units, all from the ease of your computer instead of working from the indicator. Now, we can still outfit these machines with manually controlled setups. What that means is your cross set is still going to have your up-down buttons, you're still going to have your pump start and your e-stop, but controlling the speed of your test is all going to be done through these valves. So you can see I have this micro needle valve and I can just slowly turn this up. And this gives me very, very good control on my speed. As we're moving, tightening up the grip so that now we have a consistent load. So the machine's moving, we can speed it up a little bit, bring it up to 0.2, bring it even 0.25, so now we're at standard E8 pull. This is going to go through failure. What you can't see is there's little wedge grips inside the pocket and that's what's actually gripping and maintaining that grip on the specimen. And these pinions are gearing that allow you to apply the initial load to the specimen. Alright, so that's control and then our indicator software setup. So we've rebuilt the pump, rebuilt the motor, new electrical, coming to new disconnects here. But you got pressure, cross head motor control and switching, and then the limit switch. Limit switch, again, new wiring is going through, so you still have control and safety, but we have brand new encoder for position for position readout and a brand new pressure transducer for load readout. So after we've functionally taken apart this entire machine, put it back together, we have all the data that we're getting is all going to be from new components.